Hello and welcome to another uh, edition of the Toolkit for Traders YouTube channel where we give you the tools for trading success and today we're looking at the Code Your Own EA's uh, YouTube series uh, MQL programming tutorial and this is the second lesson in the course so let's get started. So as I say uh, it's the second lesson in the course of uh, the Expert Advisor course and this one we're carrying on with some of the fundamentals uh, we're looking at getting your tools set up because if you get your tools set up right when you start off you'll find that your coding journey will be a lot easier as you carry on so it, you need to get you familiar so we won't be covering any code today uh, you might be disappointed by that but it's, it's really important that we we get you set up right um, to save you frustrations down the line and, and confusing things that uh, upset me when I was learning. So in today's video, uh, we're looking at setting up your tools. So we're going to look. We're going to. I'm going to tell you what an EA is made of. Um, again, this is really basic stuff. But if you're very very new to this, I want to make it clear how this all works. So we'll go through the basics of what an EA is made of and how you make it. We'll talk about um, the file locations um, for MetaTrader 4 because, if, again, if you're new to this, it's it can be very confusing uh, and you've got to find your way around it. So I'm going to show you how to do that and a couple handy little shortcuts which will make your life a little bit easier if you put them in place. And then we're going to get going and we're going to start your first uh, EA in Meta Editor. And I'll show you how to do that using the template. We're not going to do anything with it today. We're just going to, I'm just going to show you how to set that up. Um, so you can have a look through that yourself and get familiar with it before we start coding in the next lesson. And with every lesson, I like to do a quote because I like that kind of thing. And today's is from Confucius. Um, and he said, a workman who wants to do his work well must first prepare his tools. And that's what this lesson is all about today is uh, getting your tools prepared so that you have a really easy um, coding journey and really good success with what you do. So we want to cover first something that some of you who've been using EAs for a while are probably familiar with um, but if you're very new to this what is an expert advisor made of? So what what does a trading robot in M MetaTrader 4 do? How does it work? Where does it come from? So there are two key files when you're writing code for running expert advisors and indicators in MetaTrader. And the first of those is the .mq4 file. So .mq4 file is it's a, it's basically a, a simple text file um, with, it, with the extension mq4. Um, very similar to something you might see in, in your notepad app on your computer with .txt. Or, or .c if you've used anything um, with C before um, and, and in that file is, is a form of a human readable um, MQL4 programming language. Now when you first look at it and you first see a, 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 an MQ4 file you might think well that's not human readable um, but it, it, it is once you get used to it and it's sort of a halfway house between human uh, text and computer um, code uh, that allows us to communicate with the computer. So that's a really, really important file, and that's what you'll do all your coding in. And so once you've done that, what you then have to do is you have to translate it. The, the MQ4 file has to be translated into a language that the computer understands because the computer doesn't uh, doesn't read text. It reads ones and zeros. It reads binary stuff. So it must be compute, um, compiled into a, an executable file which in MetaTrader 4 is has the extension .ex4 so when you um, a .ex4 is a file that the computer can read and take instructions from so when you press uh, the compile button which I'll talk about in a second um, effectively your your code your human readable code is translated into a language that the computer can understand in the form of a .ex4 so you press that button your file is converted into a ex4 provided there's no errors in there and the computer then can take those instructions from and that's what your metatrader terminal will actually use uh, the ex4 file to run the expert advisor from so as i say you've got your your human text your 
code in MQ4 format that you can type into and you can understand and you can read uh, and then you've got to compile it, you've got to translate it into a language your terminal can read, um, which is what that process there is. So now I'm going to jump over to um, my desktop and show you around uh, some of the file locations where these files are and give you a couple of tips for how to find them. So here we are on my uh, demo account uh, trading terminal, MT4 trading terminal, which is pretty standard of what you will see um, when you download any MT4 platform from your broker. And um, so you can see here, pretty standard, got my chart up. And if you want to start editing um, your EAs or where those are kept, um, if you press the file button, and then go down to where it says open data folder um, and it gives you a folder and you can see at the top and this is why I say it can be quite confusing at the top it's got quite an odd folder name it's not something you can ordinarily navigate to yourself um, when you're trying to find it so you've got to use that shortcut really um, with the file in the open data folder because again, you, you can see them down here in the nav navigator and once you've compiled them and refreshed this, they will appear there. But you can't edit out of that. So you, you, you press the file, open the data folder and it'll bring that up. Then once you're here, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you open the MQL4 folder and you've got a folder for your experts and a folder for your indicators here. So if we go into our experts, and you can see here, um, there's a few, there's a couple of standard samples that uh, that MetaTrader ships with, which you've got the MQ4 file, and you've also got the .ex4 file. So you can see the two of them side by side. That one is the human readable one, the .mq4, and the .ex4, which is, if you open it, you won't understand what's going on, but the computer understands it. So what I recommend you do, because I don't like um, developing straight out of the MetaQuotes terminal, um, there's a few reasons for that. One, I like to have things on a cloud so I can work between um, different computers. I also, and it gives me better version control so I don't lose things. The other thing is I have different, uh, I have a few brokers that I use and I like to test them out and, and get the best results from them, get the best prices and those kinds of things. So I don't want to be tied to one sort of terminal folder. Um, but So but one way, one handy thing you can do is if you just come back out here to the MQ4 file again. So if we go in and you find your experts folder and then if you right click that um, and then click send to and send to desktop, create a shortcut. And you can do the same with uh, indicators. So, and then I'll just drop over to my desktop now. You'll see that I've got the two shortcuts there. And then what I like to do is if I go over to uh, something like my OneDrive um, or Dropbox, seeing I've got both, um, you can put them in there. Um, and then you drop your shortcuts in there. And then all you've got to do then, once you've got uh, an EX4 file you've uh, compiled from here, um, is you can just drop it onto the shortcut and then it will disappear into the, um, it will disappear into the MQL4 folder, which is a really handy thing to do. Um, so that saves you having to navigate between those. So I really, really recommend you set up some shortcuts to your MQL4 experts and indicators folders because that will make your life easier. You can, of course, um, develop straight out of here if you're comfortable with that, but I like to do it, as I say, on my OneDrive. The other thing I'd recommend you do is you have lots of folders in here. Um, and anytime you're starting up a new project, like say MQL4, programming tutorial um, it, it doesn't matter as long as it's within the experts folder uh, it doesn't matter um, that you put subfolders in there in fact that's helpful for you because it helps to keep things very very neat so 
you know you can drop things in there and as you'll see when I go back in there I've just put in an indicator for the sake of it but if you drop in here and now I've put it there if I right click on in the navigator and click refresh you can see now I've got a subfolder and I can go in there and I've got this ghost pivots indicator which is something I downloaded from the internet a long time ago um, and and that's uh, that's how the files are set up so what you need to remember here is um, each each client terminal each broker terminal of MT4 has its own data folder you open that data folder by clicking file open data folder and in there you've got your experts and your indicators now you don't have to develop straight out of there um, and you can always create shortcuts um, to make your life a little bit easier and it's all about speed when you're coding um, you want to you want to get um, testing and back testing and running these things you don't want to be wasting time copying and pasting between uh, folders so it's useful to have those shortcuts and that's what I always do so there we go uh, just to summarize in order to use your EAs they need to be in the data folder which you can get to using the open the file and then open data folder and then it's especially helpful if you create shortcuts to um, save you time um, finding the data folder because it is difficult to find on your actual um, desktop if you try and navigate there manually um, and I like to do mine in somewhere like a cloud which gives me an extra peace of mind that if um, my house burns down um, I'm not going to lose all my handcrafted EAs. So now we're going to get to the beginnings of our real journey on this and we're going to look at starting uh, your first expert advisor. So how do you do that? So I'm going to jump back over to the desktop and we'll have a look. So we're here now back at my MT4 terminal, um, as you can see, and we want to go to the meta editor development environment, which is an IDE for coding your EAs and indicators, which is prepackaged and shipped with every edition of MT4. So you don't need to download anything else. What you need to do is go up to tools and in the drop down menu, you've got meta quotes language editor our short name Med meta editor and there's also a shortcut for that which is the f4 button and if you press that it will open up the meta editor and you can see i've got here an mq4 file for the sample moving average ea which comes uh with it so like i say this is human readable it might not be human readable to you right now but we will get there so if you want to start your first ea what i suggest you do is you Go over here to new to create a new document and we're going to choose expert advisor template click next and we're going to give this a name which i'm going to give mql4 tutorial a nice understandable name lesson two even though it's a bit of a long one um, i'm going to put in my website here which is toolkit for traders.com which you're welcome to visit and you can also put parameters and inputs in here at this stage but I prefer to do that in the code so I'm just going to click next and you've also got some additional uh, functions in here which we'll talk about later you don't need any of that just now click next and next and then we go on to finish and there you have it. So we've uh, the information we put in at the start as loaded into the top. And this is in the color gray, which means it doesn't affect anything. It's purely just for our information within the code. And we've got the very basic, the framework of a very basic EA. You can see here, not going to go into the detail of that. That's all the exciting stuff we're going to cover in future lessons. But for now, you can see um, how to get started with your first EA. Three, two, one. 
So that was all for this video. Um, I like I say, I want to keep this in nice short bite-sized chunks and appreciate for some people I'm going quite slowly, but I want to make sure everybody sticks along for the ride as the coding journey can be a confusing one at first. But once you learn to ride a bike, you don't forget. So in the next video, we're going to get our code on finally, and we're going to look at why code lines of code are like sentences, uh, what variables are and how do you make them, and what is a comment and why should I use them? All exciting stuff to me. I'm actually genuinely excited about telling you about this stuff and actually doing some proper code. Um, so do stay tuned and uh, for the next video. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen so far, drop it in the comment section below and I'll answer as many as I can. Uh, but feel free to answer each other's questions too. Uh, I love it to see people uh, helping each other out. I think that's really nice community feel. I've also started a forum on toolkitfortraders.com. You can sign up there onto the members area. And this is also where all future source code will be. So make sure you head out there. And I will also send out emails to let you know of any uh, videos that come out. And we can't go anywhere without mentioning the 23rd of December, I will release my first free EA on the toolkitfortraders.com website um, with a video on this YouTube channel. So make sure you like and subscribe because you'll get immediate notification of when that EA is released, including a video of how to use it and back test it. So I'm really excited about that. If it's after the 23rd of December and you're watching this video later, no need to wait, get on and do it. And again, if you like this video, please uh, give it a like, a thumbs up, that really encourages me to do more. Subscribe to the channel so you uh, get notified of uh, future videos. And if you have any comments or questions or anything you wanna say that was good or bad as I'm just starting out, please pop a comment in the in the YouTube channel. That's really, really nice. And that's all we have for this video. Uh, keep well and I'll speak to you all soon.